As much as I love the idea of a gallery handling my works while I just stay in my studio and paint all day, the truth is, is I've just never been able to make that fantasy come true and sitting around waiting for a gallery to discover me and represent my works is simply a game I had no patience for. As a professional artist, selling my works on a consistent basis is serious business and that's why I've had to take the bull by the horns to conduct my own art shows. There's a multitude of parts to conducting a one-man show over and above just simply creating and framing the necessary pieces. And organizing the whole thing sometimes seems like an overwhelming task, but when your livelihood depends on it, you simply have to find a way. I've done some bricks and mortar gallery shows in the past, and I completely understand an artist wanting to go that route, but that's just never worked out for me. This video is a little behind the scenes look at my process for putting together a solo art show. One of the first considerations for doing my shows was the cargo trailer for transporting the display system and artwork from town to town. It was a major investment for an art business, but has paid for itself many times over. I custom designed this trailer specifically to transport the display walls, the lighting, the artwork, and everything I need. The artwork itself is stored at the front of the trailer and I'm able to travel long distances on all sorts of road conditions with complete peace of mind that everything is secure. I like to accumulate approximately 30 pieces to show with a combination of prints and original works. Booking an appropriate size room is something that also has to be planned. A few years ago when I decided to start taking the show part of my business more seriously, I planned and constructed a number of presentation display walls that set up much like Lego blocks that can display art on both sides. This display system was a must as hotels and event centers don't allow hanging art on the walls and in my opinion looks far better than just presenting art on easels. You also have complete control of all aspects of the display and lighting. Having an art show isn't much good if you haven't got an audience to invite and this process has changed drastically over the years. Where invites were mailed out individually to collectors, now the main method of informing clients is primarily through my email list and to a lesser degree social media. Selling my art at the shows is primarily conducted through a point of sale system that is connected directly to my online gallery. This makes the sales process streamlined and efficient with happy customers and zero headaches for us. Once my show is complete and it's time to tear everything down, the process is everything in reverse, but much quicker. Being ultra organized and efficient is the key to maintaining sanity when conducting your own shows. The rewards in this process have far outweighed the effort and having creative control over every aspect is also something I wouldn't have any other way. If you'd like to see more videos like this discussing art business related topics, please like and subscribe to my channel or leave me a comment in the description below.